What's going on? Break even trading forward, actually making $2.60 trading forward today. Let us get into today's trade recap. So this essentially is a break even. We technically netted a $2.60 gain, I guess, based off of where it took me out, where my stop loss was. But I essentially got taken out where I got in. If we jump into the forward, um, we can look at the executions. I entered uh, 260 shares at 13.35, and I stopped out at 13.36 um, around my entry. I put my stop loss at 13.35. I guess it filled me at 13.36, which is fine. Uh, I'm not going to complain about making money, I guess, right? Um, so nothing crazy here. This is on a 10K account in through Arctic funding. I, I guess I made two bucks, but... I don't know. Uh, we're barely above 10. We're at 1031.94 and inside of my brokerage, yeah, 1031.94. Um, I am in a new position. So the equity is up a bit more, which is up and that will be a different trade recap. It's actually on Roku. If you're on any live streams, you would talk, you see us talking about it. Here's kind of the trade idea. Um, looking for 57 and below. Uh, but that's not the point of today's video. We're talking about Ford, baby. So what were we thinking about Ford? This actually, I thought was a great trade. Um, we were inches from take profit and the thing is sucks is that you know had i just said yeah fuck it i'm gonna get out you know i'm gonna take the profits here at 1395 or 1386 or whatever you know move on i could have but did i know what was going to happen later today i did not so there's no way to go you can go hindsight yeah i'm not who cares dude who cares did i know the market was going to have an absolute tank of a day and finally implode at least in the afternoon for now um i had no idea and, and neither did anybody else. I guess maybe you can say you, you, you thought it was coming. You knew it was coming. Well, cool. I guess what? The past six weeks, you didn't. it wasn't coming. It didn't come. So I guess what? You get fucked. Either way. Either way. Uh, we don't operate in the mindset that we know what's happening, right? So we, so we have a target and we leave it and we let it play out. I did because I got very close to my target being hit. I did proactively say, I'm going to move up to my entry. So I'm not going to lose in this trade. And I'm glad I did because had I held this into the close, I wouldn't be super happy with that. And who knows what happens overnight. So I ain't going to be pissed about that. But the trade was pretty simple. I actually didn't get in at the best time. I got in on Wednesday at 13.35. So we can jump back in and look at the executions, 13.35, which was uh, at 8.35. So around, I guess, well, that's, e that's central time. So 9.35 Eastern time, I got in. Um, which is right where that blue line is roughly at. Uh, and, you know, I could have gotten in lower, I, but, but my stop loss was was simple because we back tested this blue line. I said, okay, stop loss at 1306 or 1305, right below the blue line. Simple as that. This is where the stop loss gets put in and then I targeted 14. Simple as that. It really wasn't a crazy trade. Why did I target 14? Uh, broaden out the picture, daily chart, little volume node up just around or just north of 14 and i wanted to target a psychological level boom i put my target to 1399 meaning that I would get filled if it didn't hit 14 or if it hit 14 exactly i get filled uh and i like to do that for this reason but we got five cents shy so you know okay it is what it is if we got to, if we got to 1397 i could be a bit more pissed but because i usually sell on the sevens i like to put my my cells on the sevens so a 1397 a 47 you know something like that would be good um but didn't happen. It is okay. So we break even on the trade and then the, the game continues of this chop. And, and I've been saying, right, like I want to be looking, you know, long because there's no reason to be looking short. However, we would need the S&P to, to show us weakness. What do we have? Check it out. The S&P, that's a monster bearish engulfing. I mean, monster. You're looking at it opening up here, closing here, completely engulfing the past two days inside of that. That is what you want to see with some volume, nothing crazy, but some good volume. That is what you want to see for a little bit of a change up what we're getting. Now, great. Does that mean that we're going down? Absolutely not. We could easily bounce right back. Now, we've seen it happen before. That happened, I think, back in December. There was a massive red day, bearish engulfing, and then the next days we just ripped back up and went to new all-time highs. Not all-time highs, new highs. So just be aware that, that doesn't mean we have to go down, but um, doesn't look good. And so if you were to say, hey, what am I going to do? Uh, you know, I'd be looking short now because S&P finally rolling over as long as the setups meet your criteria. And quick thoughts on Roku. That certainly meets the criteria. We've talked about it. My alert went off. I checked it out. We got in and we are the only thing that I will say that I'm not super 
super, you know, pumped about, and I'm like slightly skeptical, is the volume isn't amazing. Now, it is better than yesterday and the day before and the day before that. So it's not bad, but it's not amazing. So looking for a follow through tomorrow, we'll see if we get it. Um, one of the weaker stocks in the market. So if the market is weak, this is a good place to be. If the market bounces back and it stops me out, ew, it is what it is. And I, I wouldn't be surprised either way. So we'll sleep good tonight. And that's the trade recap. So we will be back in action when we have more trades to recap. Thanks so much for watching. I'll leave a link to Tradezilla where we track it all down below. By the way, by the way, this is on these platforms. This platform is 8cap is the broker. And then DX Trade is the, the platform. Uh, a lot of prop firms have moved into like, you know, using DX Trade and C Trader and other platforms out there with MetaTrader being gone and stuff or them moving away from MetaTrader in the US. They have auto connections, meaning from now on, auto sync will be applied to these trades. So I do not have to actually manually enter any trades. Everything will be done for me. I log into my brokers. I log into the accounts. We are good. All of these will be done manually or I guess automatically for me. And then all I got to do is come in and add my little, you know, notes. So that's all about baby. Tradezilla doing what they want, what they got to do. Uh, I have a discount code TC10 for 10% off. If you want to use it, if you ever want to use it, save 10%. You might as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.